live in very interesting times. Anxiety rates continue to rise in the youth in generations. And you have to wonder if there is a correlation between anxiety, this medical condition, and the growing cancel culture of society. I mean, you have to consider, imagine, anything that you say right now, a few years from now, could be used against you to destroy your entire life, to paint you as some kind of monster. Everything you're doing right now is perfectly fine, but then the next moment, you basically become a demon in the eyes of society. People no longer look at you, they just see your shadow, the darker side of you. I just kind of think that's weird. Shadow puppy? Oh my god! It's like you can't even be human anymore. You always have to be perfect. And perfect in the moment. Not just perfect for right now, but perfect for the future. I don't see that as anything remotely psychologically healthy. This is psychologically healthy. You're watching animals do silly stuff. This is nice. The human machine becomes more machine-like. Too afraid to be silly, too afraid to be stupid, too afraid to just be anything other than perfect. And to me, that's very sad because in my time on Earth, the imperfections of people are what makes them worth knowing. You're not knowing, you're not getting to know the same person over and over again because whoever you meet is different. Might be a little asshole might be nicer, but they'll be different, so they're new. I just want to see new things. It's like we're creating our own mental cage to keep us from just being happy. Enjoying life, stop worrying about stupid, pointless bullshit, and be fucking free, people. Jesus. But people don't work like that. They like to make things difficult. Because, well, people are people. That's why I chill with animals. It's way cooler.